hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be taking out my two month old box braids yes i haven't had these box braids in for about two months i actually put them in around the end of september and it's now december so it is definitely time for these box braids to come out so that is what i'm going to be doing today if you guys want to see me take out my braids then keep on watching this video don't forget to subscribe Please subscribe, like this video, comment down with some other video suggestions that you guys would like to see from me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So, as you guys can see, my braids are, they're grown out. Like, I have so much new growth and it's crazy. Honestly, I do not want to take these braids down because I do my own braids and I've been doing my own braids for about a year now. So... I feel like every time I do my braids, I just get better and better at doing it. And I could say like now, like I just really love these braids. Like I think I did a great job on these braids. And honestly, that's, I took my time on doing my hair. Like it took me like two, three days to do this. And they're long. Like I wish I could show you guys the length of how long they are. I think I should show you. See, they're long. Like, as you guys can see, they're long. Like they're so long. They come to like my hip and i really do not want to take them down but they gotta go so i have everything that i need to take them down so i just have a wide tooth comb i have um a skinny rat tail comb it's not really like skinny but it works um i also have a hair bow i have some scissors and what I'm going to be using to take my hair down is I'm going to be using this Blue Magic Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I find when I take my hair down from braids and I just wet it and I put conditioner on it, it tends to like mat up even more and it's like hard to detangle. Your hair sheds so much hair like every single day. So imagine not being able to comb your hair for two months. You're going to have a lot of hair that's coming out. So my hair is super thick. So I'm going to be using this hair grease because it won't revert my hair back because my hair is stretched already it was blow dry when i put these braids in so it's just gonna help me be able to detangle my hair so this is what i'm going to be using blue magic hair and scalp but yeah i have my bag and we're gonna begin this is the first braid i'm taking out and i actually do not remember how long my hair is so i always cut at the bottom on the first braid just to see like where's my hair at because the whole point of doing these braids is to grow your hair out not to cut your hair while taking them out so i'm just gonna take my comb and go in between the braid like so okay so while i take out this braid i wanted to talk to you guys about how protective hairstyles have really grown my hair the past year and a half I've seen so much growth from doing protective hairstyles because you are allowing your hair to grow and it does not give you the opportunity to damage or cause breakage to your hair. Braids have been my go-to hairstyle when it comes to protective hairstyles. I find that my hair really grows when I just leave it alone at long periods of times. That is the reason why I have left these braids in for so long. You really just have to do what's best for your hair and this is something that works for me. If you have not tried it, you should try leaving your hair alone for some time and see how it reacts. These are just tips you should try. I encourage you to get to know your hair and what your hair likes and dislikes. Simple things like this could potentially help your hair to grow. So give it a try, guys. Okay, so you guys can see I've taken out this piece of hair and this is how long my hair is. Oh my goodness. So instead of um, waiting to the end and taking all the hair out and then combing out, I'm going to comb out my hair piece by piece so that it's just easier to do so i've been had these braids in for about two months and also um i used a lot of product when applying these braids like a lot of shine and jam and gel so right here at the part the part right here where the uh, little knot of the hair meets we're gonna have some build up okay so let's let's just be real we're gonna have some build up so i'm just gonna start to pull the hair apart like this and I'm gonna put a little bit of the grease on there, mainly at this part right here. And we're just gonna pull it apart and finger detangle. Yeah, y'all can see hair is already coming out. 
I'm just putting the grease on and I'm just finger detangling before I go in the comb because I don't want the comb to cause any breakage or anything. So yeah, now I'm just getting all that shit in here. It's just coming out. So now I'm going to start combing. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So now, as y'all can see, that stuff that was right there, it's still a little bit there, but I've combed out most of that. So there we go. We got the first braid out. And this is just the front of my hair. So y'all, I'm going to show y'all how long my hair has gotten. And I do plan on making a video on like tips on how to grow your hair. Because I know a lot of people be wanting to grow their hair out. And it's just simple stuff that I've done. Y'all can see how loose that is. I've been natural for about six years now, so I've noticed like whenever I just leave my hair alone, that's when it grows the most. And I've learned that this past year. I've really seen my hair to grow long. Like I'll probably put like pictures up and stuff and videos up that I've taken like in 2019. And then you can compare my hair to 2020 and 2021 of this year. Like, I've really seen a change in my hair, and this year I've really been able to, like, wear my hair out as far as, like, curly froze and stuff because my hair does not shrink up that much because I have done things to make it grow. And I can just really see the growth in my hair as well. So, I'm going to be making more videos about that as well because I take care of my natural hair, like, a lot, like... <laughs> I really do like there's tips that I could be sharing to help you guys out to grow your hair because our hair is beautiful and when I first went natural when I first went natural I didn't appreciate my natural hair like I do now so it's it's definitely time it's definitely time to share my thoughts and my methods on how I take care of my hair because you guys may have not seen somebody do hair the way that i do so make sure you subscribe for more videos on natural hair also i'm gonna be doing a ton of other videos and this channel is just really gonna be about what i enjoy and i want to inspire people doing the things that i enjoy so make sure you subscribe make sure you comment make sure you like make sure you share do all of that good stuff and yeah okay so i'm just gonna continue to do the same thing combing through the hair with the grease making sure that i get all of the clumped up hair that was built up at the root of my hair so i'm just making sure that i'm really detangling it really well and yeah so i went ahead and put you guys up a little bit closer so you can really see what i'm doing because this step is so important i promise you guys you want to make sure that you detangle your hair very well because when you go to wash it you don't want to have any type of knots or kinks in your hair and it's just really important to detangle your hair and make sure all that shedded hair is coming out and another thing that i wanted to say is that this side of my hair i detangled it i took my time and detangled it very well and when i got to the other side of my hair i was really tired so i kind of just like half did it and let me tell you guys when i went to wash my hair that side that i have detangled it was a nightmare trying to tangle through all those knots i had so many knots in my hair that i really had to take my time and detangle through so just make sure you guys are detangling your hair very well getting all that shared hair out getting all that build up of product out I trust you guys it is going to be worth it Okay guys, so I'm 
halfway done with taking out my hair <sighs> yeah but this is what my hair is looking like So I'm just going to finish taking down the rest of these braids and I'll see you guys when I am done taking all of these braids out. Okay, so it's the next day and I finally finished taking out all the braids out of my hair. And as you guys can see, this is what my hair is looking like before I washed it. This is what my hair is looking like after I shampooed it. I just have conditioner on it right now and I fully detangled my hair. I'm probably just gonna proceed with doing a simple hairstyle, but I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.